This is the story of a mission of Friends of Nature, exploiting the gift of creation from above. It's an amazing journey of discovering the images of creation from the air above the horizon. A fascinating expedition to capture the exciting ease of nature. We start our journey from the Moya Peninsula, heading to Kasenyiget, the headquarters of the Hot Air Balloon Station. Service providers of the new transport technology set to boost tourism in the region. The team is on a mission to launch a new project, the program of capturing the images of nature from the morning sky. It is like an eye in the sky. But first things first. For effective performance service delivery and safety, Rajab's aviation crew has to undergo rigorous hands-on practical training. As you see, we use this fan to put the air inside the envelope. Later you will see the air flowed in the envelope, so the envelope will start to fill with the air. I make a check inside the balloon during this operation. After that, I make a hot inflation by the burner. The balloon will stand up and you will get in the basket after that. We are going to diversify and put it in three parts. So we are in the process of procuring uh, three or so operators. The one who will fly it in Queen, another person might fly it in Maxon Falls, another one might uh, fly it in Kidepo, a very national park. Uh, we preferred here to fly in Queen Elizabeth because the weather here is very good. Compared with uh, Kenya and Tanzania, here the animals may be less numbers rather than uh, Kenya or Tanzania, but you can see these big numbers of the animals there only in migration time, in migration period. But here, the animals around the year. Several weeks later, the team is now ready to ensure all was perfect ranging from confidence to safety the team is ready rajab is convinced they are now set to launch the inquisitive eye in the sky It is 6 o'clock in the morning and Rajab's crew is done with the necessary preparation for the flight. And after a vibrant good morning to his passengers, Rajab introduces his curious guests to the state of the art of the new tourism technology. The technology which takes us back to the teachings of modern physics of our high school days. Memories of the principles of heat, pressure, gravity, and space movement easily come. Okay, welcome aboard. Welcome in my spaceship. The balloon always will travel this way because this is the front of the balloon. So you will face the opposite direction this way. As we are going. Okay? Yes. You will find ropes in front of you. You see the ropes, the black ropes in the bottom. Yeah, the down one. Please hold on to the rope handles now with both hands. Use both hands, please. Yeah, do it now. Bend your knees down, down, down. Rush down and push your back. Your head must be the same level of the top of the basket. That's good. You can stand up now. You can stand up now. Okay, as I told you, when I ask you to get in your landing position, you will do it immediately, okay? Yes. Enjoy your flight. It's now time to launch the eye in the sky. At Kasenye Gate, the Rajab team of Egyptian experts and their Ugandan counterparts is now set to fly ready to fly the production team of Friends of Nature flanked by the conservation researchers of Queen Elizabeth National Park to glorious moments of the day. 
a tripartite mission between the three friends of nature, Queen Elizabeth National Park, balloon tourism aviation experts, and Captain Rajab Kodari is the quality and safety manager for the balloon aviation tours. Red one is deflating the balloon. For this why I don't anyone to touch my ropes. Uh, here. <laughs> okay. That's why you paint it red. So this one was the fifth. Uh, this one is the secret. Yeah. <laughs> Using only during the landing. Uh, yeah. They open the parachute up there. Okay. So we shall go at this. Yes. Okay. Yes, because I'm scared from the height. <laughs> Can the speed be increased? Pardon? The speed. The speed of the, the balloon? The balloon yes. I need some money to go fast. The Winsori Mountain. As you see, I'm just choosing the quiet burner now because of the animal, you know, to disturb the animal. See the difference between this one mm -hmm. and the other one? Music quite fast. Okay. At the Mwea Peninsula, along the magnificent Kazinga Channel, another production team of Friends of Nature joins park officials aboard the navigating water bus, Topi, whose mission is to ferry guests for ground truthing. These are predominantly local tourists who had flocked here to have a glimpse of the amazing giant balloon that had been sighted above Queen Elizabeth National Park the previous days. Yeah. It's been nice. <laughs> what was the most? again. All right. And what most? What attracted you most? I like the elephant. And the animals up close. I take an opportunity of welcoming you once again in Queen Elizabeth National Park, which is the second largest national park in Uganda. It was gazetted in 1952 as Kazinga National Park. In 1954, when Her Majesty the Queen of England came to Uganda, she had come to open the Owen Falls Dam. She also visited the Kazinga National Park. To memorize her presence in Uganda, we had to rename this park from Kazinga National Park to Queen Elizabeth National Park. <laughs> Yeah, there is a crocodile welcoming us with a plastic smile. <laughs> That's why for them they don't have wrinkles on their face. <laughs> they are ever putting on a smile. But in biological terms, it is one way of them trying to cool themselves from a lot of heat they have inside. <laughs> Uh, for the hippos, the mothers that are always having the baby, they always isolate themselves from a school. So the lonely hippos, we are seeing they are having young babies. After the hippo giving birth, after three days, it takes the sex of the baby. If it finds that the baby is a male, it will hide it far from where the dad cannot access it to avoid the dad from killing a young one. But if the baby is a female, it will be welcomed into a school or into a family. The floating balloon of Rajab has attracted numerous visitors to the park. This increasing number of guests is not a problem to park officials since tourist facilities here are many and varied. The Mwea Safari Lodge offers magnificent accommodation facilities to cater for the ever-increasing number of visitors. Medium income guests are however advised to seek affordable accommodation and fairly priced meals at the Tembo Students Hostel, where different types of wild animals continue to be sighted from every corner of the park.
and on the other side of the peninsula are spacious guest houses big enough to accommodate sizable families which prefer to discover nature in a solitary environment. It is the dawn of another day. Another flight organized by Captain Rajab is about to take off. And at exactly 6 a.m. in the morning, Rajab's aviation vessel jets off to the calm morning skies of Queen Elizabeth National Park. So the new camera images captured by the Friends of Nature would then be linked to the eye in the sky. Moments later, the balloon of Rajab flies us higher and higher to enable us to sight the entire conservation areas as far as the eye can see. The magnificent scenery of Queen Elizabeth National Park, all captured from the sky. Do we have any idea as to how high we are now? A thousand, a hundred meters above me sea level. Higher and higher it goes until Rajab's balloon itself appears like an eye in the sky. Researchers like Margaret Drichiru are convinced that apart from viewing numerous animals from above, the balloon could be an important vessel for mapping. And then higher again and even higher, features like roads, valleys and the entire topography begin to appear like a real map on the ground. And at this altitude, 1,650 meters above sea level and 650 meters above the ground, the passengers are able to view distant features like Lake Edward, George and the Kazinga Channel. I will start to descend now. Oh. And how does that help you? Descending around 3 meters per second now. Then finally, we begin to descend to the ground, where visibility of shrubs and thickets are clear to the naked eye. We are coming back again. It is time to once again sight the giants of Queen Elizabeth from above, ranging from tiny mammals like the mangoes to mighty heavyweights like hippos and elephants. Even the voice of Adrin Chakuhairi, our guide on the water bus, now becomes loud and clear as communication between the air and the ground is affected. Uh, that is one of the largest land mammals we have in a place called the African elephant. When you look at the way the ears are, they look like the African map. Uh, 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 <laughs> and the long thing in front or between the two ivory, it is its stuff. Uh, the trunk is a very sensitive part on the body of the elephant. Elephants are social animals that live in families 
And families are always dominated by females, the ones that are responsible for taking care of the young ones in the school. And it gives birth to one calf. The lifespan is between 70 to 85 years. Look at it. Back with you. It is here that researchers, tourists, and other friends of nature are advised to take nothing but a photograph and leave nothing but a footprint until the two teams once again dock to the ground. Memories of their expedition are still fresh in their minds. Uh, this is a really wonderful experience. I really enjoyed this. Uh, in fact, I was uh, like scared, but when I after a little bit, you feel like, you know, you have to come back again here. Sure. Yeah. And what are you ready to tell the people <coughs> out there? Wow, uh, this should be really... Everyone must really experience this. Everyone, people should come. Five meters. After five meters. Five meters. Okay, now take the balloon. Drop the balloon to this way. Take me in this way. Yeah, move me to the fazil direction. That direction. You see my hand? Yeah. That direction. Yes, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Book the balloon now. Without landing position. I don't want to do it. Soft one. Really soft one. That's good. Okay, now keep the balloon in this way. This way. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. That's good. Perfect. Thank you. It was one hour. Wow, wow, wow. Wonderful. <laughs> hey, this was interesting, eh? It's a lifetime experience. Right. So you are deflating it now? Pull! What they are waiting for? <laughs> Tell us, Margaret, how was the journey? <laughs> I think it's a very interesting um, experience, and uh, it looks like uh, the tourists who are not inside it actually are making it a tourist attraction. So they kind of come and they wanted to be part of it. That's what we see. You know, if you wanted to, to do surveillance and monitoring of uh, whatever is out there, vegetation, animals, this is Okay, this you can start pool now. Thing. Every day we fly. Our flight every day in the morning. But in other countries, maybe we fly afternoon. Here I'm very happy here for, for Queen Elizabeth. Uh, it's a very quiet place. One of the best places for the weather I have seen. 
I have flown many, many countries, Egypt, Turkey, but here I feel I'm comfortable here because the weather, it's, as I told you, it's maybe it's the best weather I fly over it. The flight itself, being above everything, was so interesting. At first I was scared of, of moving up, but now I feel like going there and there and there once again. It's now time for breakfast in the bush. The operator might choose an established hotel within uh, Queen Elizabeth National Park that provides uh, that breakfast. And then after that, uh, the accommodation facilities where people stay. The, the, the hotel balloons uh, as an activity will be uh, will be packaged along with other activities we do in the park uh, and uh, I do hope you enjoy the experience when you are there.